When you think of champions from the state of Florida, you think of sports like football, basketball, even baseball or softball. But little do you know that our pocket of Northeast Florida is home to one of the best junior ice skaters in the entire world. Welcome to the Pacific Coliseum for the first of three nights of ice dancing. I, know, I just fell in love with it. Nearly 13 years ago, Orange Park native Athena Roberts was introduced to some of the best to ever lace them up on the ice. And in that moment, she was hooked. I think it was the 2010 Olympics on, and I said to my parents, oh, I want to do that. She uh, was pretty determined from a, the, being a little girl and what she wanted to do. And we had some really good coaches here in Jacksonville that helped us along for many years. She began training on the ice at the age of five, spending countless hours honing her craft and competing as a solo ice dancer. Then she received a life-changing phone call. It was on a Wednesday. Go to Canada and be there on a Sunday. She tried out Monday. And they got along great. And by Friday, we signed a, a condo, a lease uh, for her to train up there. It, I mean, it happened that quick. And just like that, Athena Roberts had a new trajectory on the ice. And she had a partner whose individual success was tied to hers. Next team comes from Spain. 17-year-old Athena Faith Roberts, 20-year-old Eric Ellis. It just came very natural. Um, he's like one of my best friends now. So I don't know how I was skating without him before, so it's really nice. That instant chemistry resulted in immediate success. They won the Spain National Junior Ice Dance Championship in Madrid. After only being together for seven months, we didn't have a lot of expectations. We just wanted to get into this skating season and see how we do. Of course, our goal was to win, but we didn't have high expectations. So when we did accomplish that goal, we were very, very happy with that. Being a national champion in another country is an unbelievable accomplishment while you're still a teenager. Just hearing now, <laughs> just kind of set in a little bit more. I don't know, it just feels really weird, sort of, because it was like, just a few months ago, I was just from here training, and all of a sudden, I became the national champion. It's definitely still setting in. Her hard work and dedication is certainly paying off on the ice, but she's also being rewarded with the opportunity to fill up her passport. It's definitely one of the biggest benefits of being able to compete internationally, because I wanted to see the world, but also have a reason to go places. She's also going places on the ice. She now represents Spain and trains in Vancouver with Olympic coaches Aaron Lowe and Megan Wing with hopes of taking that passport to the biggest stage in the coming years. We won nationals in Spain. That was when it really set into my mindset that, oh, if we can accomplish this, we can definitely accomplish going to the Olympics. This is like the perfect age to be able to go because this is when our bodies are at their prime. Between her competitions around the globe, Athena still manages to find time to get her study on. After all, she is still a student athlete and a very unique one at that. In the studio, Marcel Robinson, Action Sports Jacks. Action Sports Jacks Primetime, Saturday at 1030 on Fox 30.